here we have a question in this question we are given some examples and here we have to determine in which of the situation the net force value is zero so first of all let's understand some Newton's law of motion where the first law of motion tells us that the body will remain in rest or will remain in the same state of motion until an external force is applied on it let's suppose there's a block given to us now it is at rest it will be at rest until an external unbalanced force is applied on it and if let's go to the second condition where the block mass is m and it's moving with velocity v in forward direction it will continue this velocity v in forward direction until an external force is applied in order to change its speed or order in order to change its direction where the second law tells us that the rate of change of momentum which is mass into change in velocity is rate of change of momentum with respect to time is directly proportional to force so from here we can write f equal to delta p divided by delta t so here in the first situation when an aeroplane is moving at a constant altitude with a constant speed so here we can say that the aeroplane is following a straight line path so we can say that there's no change in direction and also there's no change in the speed so we can say that the velocity is constant and hence the momentum of the aeroplane is constant so we can say that the net force applied on the aeroplane will be zero now here in this situation when the car is driving straight up a hill with a constant speed here as we know the car is having the same speed in the upward direction so we can say that the change in momentum of car is zero so from here we can say that the net force acting on the car will be zero now in the third situation when a hawk is cycling at a constant speed at a constant height from the field so here if the hawk is moving in the circular circular radius as you can see here in this circular path we can see that the velocity at the bottom line is in different direction and the velocity at the upmost line is in the different direction so from here we can say that there's change in the velocity due to the change in direction although the speed is constant but there's change in the direction so we can say that there must be some force acting on the hawk so that it can change its direction so we can say that there's force present in this situation now let's move forward in this situation a box with a slick on a frictionless surface in the back of the truck is given to us now we are accelerating the truck in forward direction now let's suppose this is the block resting on the plank in the trunk so it will slip as we can see from the frame of ground this block will have no motion because due to the loss of friction between the block and the plane we can say that there's no force acting on the block so in this situation we can say that there's no force acting on the block so the value of net force is zero in this situation so from here we can conclude that in first situation in second and fourth situation the net force value on the body is zero thank you